My name is Ian Kirby, and this is my photographer presentation on Walter Yost Jr. Walter Yost Jr. is an American sports photographer with over 60 years of experience, most of which with Sports Illustrated. His, su his success in sports photography has led many to call him the Poet Laureate of Sports, and he has also had over 300 images featured in Sports Illustrated in over 20 sports publications um, published in, in his 60 years of work. And some notable athletes he's photographed include Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Tiger Woods, and many more. Walter Yost Jr. was born in Temple, Texas and in, 19, or in 1943 and then moved to New Jersey. His passion for photography started when he, um, his father bought him his first roll of film and took it to a football game and um, photographed the football game. And from then on, he fell in love with sports photography. Um, and actually going into his senior year of high school, he attended the, a class at the German School of Photography in New York. Um, and upon graduating high school, he was given his first assignment with Sports Illustrated. And these are just a few examples of um, his work. The first one is from the I believe, I forget which um, dunk contest it was, but it's, um, you have Michael Jordan in the dunk contest. And then the upper right is um, an, an example of an image he shot at, um, it was the NFC play championship game where the San Francisco 49ers won on a last minute catch to send them to the Super Bowl. And then there is the, um, more well recently well-known um, images of Dennis Rodman uh, diving for the basketball um, and then this bottom right one is actually the one that he considers to be like his like defining photograph that put him um, kind of in the spotlight of sports photography and it's actually of the USA diving team preparing for the 1984 Olympics and when he showed the diver the photograph, the diver actually didn't like it because he thought he looked weird in it um, and thought his like body position was like unnatural. So he didn't really want um, Yost Jr. to really um, publish that anywhere, but it actually ended up being one of his more well-known photographs. And then he actually had a um, successful career outside of sports as well. And from 1968 to 1972, um, he was a photographer for Atlantic Records. So he got to photograph artists such as Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and James Brown as well. And then he also um, photographed several ads for Camel Cigarettes in 1980. Unfortunately, none of those were um, online, so I couldn't find any of them to put them in here. And then he also talked about some of the equipment he used while doing the sports shoots. Um, he carried two cameras with him. He carried the Canon EOS 1D and then the EOS 5D as well. And then he had three different um, lenses he had or he used and then a card reader and one external hard drive and then multiple different um, SD cards. And then my uh, favorite items. He had um, swim goggles and a golf club for his two favorite pastimes and then just um, breath mints um, as well because you know you always have to keep the um, breath mints and then also he have are strongly suggested that any sports or photographers use um, two cameras when they're shooting to help just get a variety of different shots um, it'll really go a long way in your work. And then what's he doing now? Um, ever since um, the 2000s, he's been slowly doing less and less um, work in the field. Um, and now he actually does a lot with Sports Illustrated Swimwear or the swimsuit um, edition. He was, was one of the main like creators of that and minds behind it. Um, so he's been doing that since 1971 but now he spends most of his time with his wife in Montauk New York um, where he lives and he also has two sons Christian and Bjorn 
who are also following in his footsteps in the photography world. So yeah, that's been about it. You have the work cited and the image links. And this has been my presentation on Walter Yost Jr. Thank you.